Hello beautiful people, today we talk envelope budgeting. Hello, I'm Tatiana Ilion from People Living and today I'm going to tell you about the magical method for your budgeting, envelope budgeting. Of course you know what envelope budgeting is and I took my pretty embarrassing envelopes with me but anyways, we'll dive into it. What are the benefits of the envelope budgeting method? What do you think? I think they have, there are lots of them. First of all, you can control your spending very well with this kind of method. You just distribute the amount of money you want to spend on this exact category and you just spend this amount of money. There is no going around it. Then it is so nice to have those crispy, smelly money in your hands. Yeah, I know sometimes they smell not very nice, but sometimes pretty good. It just feels so psychologically fulfilling. It's like you own those money, they're not hidden somewhere on your bank account. You can feel them, you can touch them, you can spend them. And here is the trick. So spending becomes much harder when you spend the actual cash. It's like you're taking away part of your, a part of you. It's not very nice. So it's like you think three times more before spending the real cash than swiping the card. Whatever, it's just the card, it didn't change. I'll walk you through the main steps in implementing budgeting system in your life. So let's go. The first step is that you need to identify what kind of budgeting segments you want to have. What are the spending categories that you want your cash be in it can be can i take a look at that this screen there are many of them thank you <laughs> so food food is pretty obvious <laughs> we need to eat you can also divide as i've mentioned in my previous video when i did the overview of all the budgeting methods you can check over there you can split food into groceries so the ones you get in a shopping mall <laughs> and also into eating out category i have that for example because it's important for me to divide between those then the next one is household items if you want you can have it separate I have it, I think, in the same category as groceries, but it's up to you. Transportation. It can include different kind of subcategories. It can be public transport, uh, fuel, car maintenance, if you own a car, obviously. <laughs> then uh, you can have a separate category for car repairs and insurances for car also a big category is mortgage rent if you don't have mortgage you probably rent then utilities that includes gas electricity water maybe something else that you have uh, house repairs, if you own a house and you need to repair it. Or maybe you have some fixed uh, fixed price for this maintenance and repairs monthly. Then healthcare. You can also include wellness into healthcare or you can make it separate. It's up to you. Uh, childcare. Childcare. I think the main categories there, subcategories are daycare and nanny. <laughs> These are those. 
Uh, other debts? Other debts. Yeah, you can have those as well. Other debts are whatever except mortgage. <laughs> All right, it can be a car debt. Some car debts are pretty awful, you know. Uh, you can have a phone, cell phone debt. That's don't have that. Don't have a cell phone debt. Um, the next category can be clothes. Then cosmetics, you can merge them if you want. Uh, entertainment, education, uh, savings or investment, or you can put them both together. Uh, gift or giving gifts, communications. Uh, this can include cell phone, internet, Insurances. I've mentioned the car insurance already, but you, you should have more, <laughs> obviously. Health, life insurance, house insurance, yeah. And you can have a uh, miscellaneous category as well. You will probably have it because usually you can't cover it all, always, yeah. Remember, you need to take only those categories that you really need. Don't overdo it. If you take too many categories, then you'll be just overwhelmed and like, oh, what do I do with those? So don't overdo it. Take maybe eight to 10 categories. That should be enough and stick to them. For example, like house repairs, utilities and mortgage, you can merge into one home category. Also cosmetics, clothes and wellness is beauty. So be creative, it's up to you. Now step two. Don't be discouraged right away, but you need to to work here you before implementing like you've chosen the categories already but before really implementing it into your everyday life you need to track down all your expenses in all those categories for three months yeah that would be beneficial that would be very beneficial so you just open your bank account and write out all the categories that you have like all the expenses match them with the categories that you've chosen in the previous step remember then uh, find out all the sums that you have for those categories for three months find the average for each category in those three months and you'll have the number if that was too complicated just send me a message i'll help you or better i will post these calculations in my blog post so head over there it'll be there and after you've calculated those so you have the amount that you spend every month the average amount and you have the numbers if you are happy with them nothing to do here you just stick to them distribute to the envelopes the sums that you have or if you're not happy with those think what you can do with it and adjust them accordingly so we go to the step number three step number three is you just with with the next paycheck you withdraw the cash you need for those envelopes of yours do you want to see mine <laughs> they're pretty embarrassing and oh i need to work on them change them to new as I have extra savings 
I have um, this one was for water bill but then I changed it to travel then <laughs> I changed it to car because yeah that's pretty big problem now at days in our family this is for insurances then I wanted to make it electricity but then I found out that I have electricity already <laughs> and uh, also I changed it to insurance and once per year payments that are accumulated here and then I can distribute them evenly during the year uh, then this is for the baby usually for upcoming baby <laughs> this is for traveling and this is also traveling yeah we had that for Disney but we've been there already so it's not that relevant anymore that's there was something else also <laughs> but I changed it to education and development yeah education we have and travel we don't have yeah I forgot to mention travel this that's a huge one yeah so when you withdraw your cash from your account after the paycheck pay attention what you withdraw you don't need to withdraw everything just think about the the payments that are automated payments or the ones that you need to pay via your bank account it may be mortgage other debts um, daycare payments or some other payments leave them leave them there and pay them from your account it's much more easier <laughs> than doing it with cash so but the others that you can pay with cash are our customers so we distribute them here into our beloved envelopes no matter how they look what a satisfaction you agree and we move on to the fourth step just now just stick to your envelopes stick to the cash you have there once you have a payment from this category you have to spend cash from the envelope that's it that's that easy you need to spend money you spend it from the envelope the envelope is over the money is over just go over it yeah that's it there is little bonus if you really stick to this envelope system category you will probably notice that in the end of the month you will have some cash left in your envelopes that's a pretty nice bonus don't you think because you don't overspend you don't take from other envelopes you just go <laughs> go with it and in some categories you have some cash left use it in the right way <laughs> the best way to use it is to put it into savings or investment if you have investment even if you already have this category before it's better better have more <laughs> one dollar now is more than one dollar in 10 years <laughs> and you'll be happy you didn't spend it but put into savings but that's a whole different story okay thank you for your attention so very much i hope it was helpful i hope that you will implement this budgeting system into your life and benefit i so hope very much it really helps just go and do it and if you need uh, those uh, steps again written down there in my blog post on peopleliving.com go there see you there love bye
Thank you.